If we know that E1 gets transformed into Y1, and E2 gets transformed into Y2, then we're asked to figure out what the images are of this vector and this vector. Well, if we know this situation, then we can set up the A matrix times the E vector there, which is just going to be equal to 2, 6. And uh, in other words, we can basically say that there should have been some kind of matrix here, then when we put that in there, it'll, it'll equal 2, 6. And, uh, hmm, well, the only way you can do this if, is if we have a 2, 6 right here, because if that happens, then we can say 1 times the 2, 6, and then plus uh, 0. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we put in over here, so because if we go 0 plus whatever's there, it doesn't matter, it's just going to equal 0. So we're going to end up with the 2, 6 over here. And so we've kind of figured out this half of A. Let's try to figure out what the rest of it is by using this one. So we'll kind of set up the same situation. We have a times 0, 1 this is supposed to be equal to negative 2, 7. So we can technically visualize this as the big thing here. We already know this side is 2, 6, so let's just leave that there. Um, but it's going to be multiplied by 0, 1, and that's going to be equal to uh, negative 2, 7. And so the only thing that we could do here to get that to happen is we have 0 and then our 2, 6 over here. Plus 1, we have to put the negative 2, 7 here in order for that to work out. So that way this equals negative 2, 7, because um, that's just going to go away. And so now we figured out this half of the A vector is equal to that. Now that we figured out what the A matrix is, let's try to find the images of these two vectors. So we just take our 2, 6, negative 2, 7, and we're going to multiply that by the 4, negative 4, and see what happens. And we can rewrite this by saying 4, 2, 6, and then we would just say minus 4, and then negative 2, 7 here. So we would get 8, and then 24, and then this one would be plus 8 up here, and then minus 28 down here. We could simplify that down and get 16, and then negative 4, and so that would be the image that we would get for, uh, for, for this one right here. Now for x1 and x2, then we just kind of do a similar thing, but we'll have x1 being over here for the 2, 6, and then uh, minus, or actually plus, x2 for the negative 2, 7 thing. And so that can basically just be boiled down to a single matrix here. Keep in mind, it's just going to be one column. Uh, so that way it would be 2x1 minus 2x2 in the first column. And then in the second column, it would be 6x1 plus 7x2. This whole thing is just uh, one single column, two rows. All right, so those are our answers and our images.